I think people are just weary of the weather, quite frankly, and they're tired of, uh, you know, of staying home. And so you, you, people get in trouble when they take, when they take uh, risks that they shouldn't. And so what we want to take, say is, you need to act like this is the first storm. And I know you're tired of staying home, and I know you're tired of doing all those things, but keep showing the same precautions that you've, that you've been showing. Really, I think it's fair to say it's the worst ice storm in Tennessee in two decades. We know, unfortunately, of at least 30 deaths attributable to the weather. At its peak, there were 67,000 people without power, including entire cities like Monterey and Crossville, and close to 330 people were in shelters. While we're seeing many communities begin to transition to recovery, the State Emergency Operations Center remains staffed and Tennessee remains in a state of emergency to be ready for the next expected round of severe winter weather on Wednesday. Is that emergency. typically going to their 911 center? Or? Yes, sir. Okay. I wanted to come here today specifically to do two things, to thank uh, and recognize some people who've done extraordinary work. How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Yes, some men and women that have gone above nice and beyond. Um, and uh, it reminds you of how important it is that we have great workers at the state uh, who are committed to doing their job. I can't tell you how many people have grabbed me over the last two weeks to brag on state employees. And I'm very, very grateful for all the work that you do. And uh, I'll, I'll let you represent a lot of other men and women who can't be here. But on behalf of, uh, on behalf of all of us at the state, thank you very much for a job well done.